welcome. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. We're broadcasting from Toronto, Canada, where the Conference on Ukrainian Reforms is currently underway. UATV, together with Agri Team Canada, is launching a special series of interviews on the EFACT and the progress of Ukrainian reforms that are going on in the country right now. And today we're going to be talking about the reform of economic development and the Ukraine Invest Promotion Agency in particular. Together with me in the studio is Ulyana Hramak. She is the chairwoman of the supervisory board of Ukraine Invest. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello. To give a glimpse to our audience about what we're going to talk about, let's watch a little video clip. Ukraine Invest is the Ukrainian government's investment promotion agency. It was established in November of 2016 in order to improve the investment uh, environment and to attract foreign direct investment into Ukraine. The mission of Ukraine Invest is to continue to attract foreign direct investment into Ukraine in order to enhance the prosperity of the country, create well-paid, high-value added jobs for our people, and to continue to help facilitate Ukraine's integration into the European economic, political, and security architecture. We've worked very hard over the past two years trying to improve the investment environment and to address many of the problems and issues that companies had when they come into the country. We've been very proud of the fact that over the past two years, we've been able to unlock over $2 billion of investment from existing investors. And now we have stories to tell new investors that are starting to come in into the energy, infrastructure, manufacturing, agro sector, and especially into the innovation technology space. We work directly with investors in terms of understanding their needs, their area of interest, uh, their business. We try to understand their business in order to direct them into the areas and the regions where they are going to be most successful and feel most comfortable uh, in Ukraine. We work directly with local self-governments. We look to work directly with uh, national uh, agencies in order to address many of the issues that investors confront when they, when they enter the country. For Skadex Solar, Ukraine is uh, one of the strategic markets. Uh, first of all, it's a market which is uh, considered one of the last uh, growing emerging markets in Europe. And for Skadex, it's, uh, it's been strategically important to come back to Europe. Uh, Skadex Solar produces um, uh, utility-sized uh, solar projects in Ukraine. The company is really focusing on uh, providing local communities with the projects which we can actually support our uh, sustainable activities in local regions. Uh, we are present now in uh, four regions of Ukraine, Cherkasse, Nikolaev, Kherson region, and in uh, Kiev region. Total investment is about uh, 400 uh, million euros currently to date, and uh, we hope to produce four large utility size projects uh, by, uh, let's say, spring of next year. In Skatek Solar, it's uh, something new for me and it's changed my life. It's a good experience and knowledge in green energy because really it's a new way. It's a good way for our future. It's a good way for my child, maybe for uh, next generation. It's it's right way. I'm very proud because sometimes I can explain to my parents what is it, how it work, and what it is the best way. We at Ukraine Invest have strong regional presence. Our relationship managers cover all regions of Ukraine. The main goal of the regional representation is to collect quality investment products to the existing investors in order to identify their needs and as well as to increase the capacity building with the local state authorities. We have collected about 100 uh, greenfields, more than 80 brownfields, as well as assisted more than existing investors to solve their systemic issues. We have also worked closely with the local state authorities to identify clusters and collect uh, existing investors' profiles. I would like to thank our partners with whom we closely worked uh, during these uh, years. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank EDGE, Pledge and Promise 
Western NS Fund and ULEAD for their support and their understanding and their uh, help to provide it to Ukraine Invest. So Ukraine Invest is a government investment promotion agency that is like a phenomenon because it has been so rapidly developing since the year of its creation, which is 2016. And then in 2018, it became a governmental institution. You, as the chairwoman of the supervisory board, know all about it. Tell us. Yes, uh, I'm very proud that uh, basically I was appointed at the very beginning, uh, back in 2016, mm -hmm. with a great team. And uh, during this uh, few years, we have created uh, the state institution out of the reforms office. We called it even the startup. Uh, we didn't have any capacity at the very beginning, but right now we have uh, uh, great people. Uh, we uh, also um, work closely with a number of the investors. Mm -hmm. During these couple of years, we have uh, unlocked about uh, two billion of U.S. Uh, of foreign direct investment, uh, you know, from the existing wow. inve investors. And we also, um, you know, work on the systemic uh, problems, uh, helping the existing investors, as well as definitely with the new investors, which are our target um, audience and target clients. And uh, therefore, we are really happy. Uh, therefore, we are in Canada here in order to speak up uh, to the Canadian investors and promote Ukraine. Which spheres of Ukrainian uh, economy right now are in urgent need of investment? We do have uh, four plus one sector strategy. Mm. This is, uh, first of all, it's uh, manufacturing, also energy, energy efficiency. Uh, we have agro, because mm -hmm. Ukraine is the agrarian country, yeah. de definitely. And uh, we also um, consider IT as one of the sectors mm -hmm. that is uh, definitely adding value to the other sectors of the economy. And which sector would you say is the most interesting to foreign investors to allocate finances to? It really depends because, you know, um, different investors, um, you know, they have different needs mm -hmm. and appetite. Uh, so we try to promote not only these sectors that I have just um, uh, no, uh, voiced up, but definitely the other sectors. You know, we work with the big investors as always, and we promote also the uh, um, possibilities, the potential to the medium companies. So therefore, uh, if, uh, if the investors are coming to us and they uh, have um, needs, uh, and they are looking in the sectors that are not in our priority focus, we definitely are going to help them out and to, um, to much make them with the relevant uh, potentials in the regions. How does Ukraine Invest help the potential investors or already existing investors? Is there a certain algorithm or do you have a private approach towards every investor coming in Ukraine? We work uh, uh, on the case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. We position ourselves as a one-stop shop for the investor. Uh, therefore, uh, we have um, our uh, priority sectors as well as we have our long list of the clients and the short list of the companies that we are targeting. And uh, we see from what, what we have experienced for the past uh, few years, um, the investors, they need an uh, individual approach. Mm -hmm. So we um, often organize uh, you know, B2B meetings with the government. We also uh, try to visit them. We work closely with the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, with the, our um, d diplomatic institutions abroad, in order to identify these uh, companies and uh, to promote Ukraine. Over the three years of the existence of Ukraine Invest, what would you say is um, the biggest and the loudest success story in the investment sphere? Well, uh, we have um, a number of them. I would say we have. Could you pick one? <laughs> um, we have worked uh, um, recently uh, with the uh, General Electric, for example, right? Mm -hmm. the, one of the companies uh, in order uh, they they actually invest in the infrastructure in Ukraine in the locomotives. Uh, so uh, therefore, we had uh, 
very fruitful cooperation with Ukrzaliznica. Mm. So this was one of the cases. Also, we uh, we are working uh, with a number of companies um, in the energy energy efficiency sector, mm -hmm. which is a booming sector right now in Ukraine. I would say. I agree. And uh, I would say the the latest success that we had was we assisted and provided the assistance to the company HUD. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the company that uh, produces ski equipment and uh, we met with the company in Davos last year and during this past year we closely worked with this company on, the case, on their case and uh, they started their production facility um, in Vinnytsia. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is a very successful story it is. that we are very indeed. proud of because this company is looking to relocate their uh, production facilities from the Eastern Europe and mm -hmm. to move their production facilities to Ukraine uh, the, and maybe to close even the production, the, the production cycle because they are also planning to move, to move their uh, raw material supplier mm -hmm. to Ukraine. Uh, so this is this so is to, a great to move totally total total yes production uh, production to Ukraine total cycle. So this is really a great story. In in one year, the company from the contact that we met the company and to the product uh, launch, yeah. you know, during one year, it, I think it's a it's this a great is, success. This is sky high fast. <laughs> Uh, if we take a look at the investment flow in Ukraine, is there any possibility to forecast how it's going to look in, let's say, three or five years, in the nearest future? Um, how, how we work, would like to work with them? How you like to work with them? <laughs> we, I think uh, um, uh, we do have the, num uh, the, the companies uh, right now in our long list and the short list that mm -hmm. we work with. And I would say that it's a great interest to Ukraine still. Uh, in our portfolio, we have about four billion of, uh, you know, of US. That's I think, uh, you know, on, on our on our table. Yeah. It's just the matter of, um, uh, you know, some some uh, of the companies. The the process of the decision making in one of the, uh, in in some of the companies takes a little bit um, longer than mm -hmm. in the others. Uh, well, so naturally. therefore, we have we have to start, you know, uh, working with them, and from the from the start until the launch of the, of the project, it may take a few years. A lot has already been done to promote Ukraine in the investment sphere and to make it more attractive to foreign investors. But still, you know, sky is the limit. What else could be done to make Ukraine even more attractive to foreign investors than it is right now already? I think uh, success stories they help. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would like to promote the success stories uh, in, in the different countries in the order to show the other companies that their competitors are in Ukraine. So And it helps. Uh -huh. <laughs> it helps. Okay. So therefore, I think um, all of us should do something, you know, uh, we, we do have a team on a regional level that works closely with the existing investors mm -hmm. uh, and with the local state authorities mm -hmm. in order to identify the quality investment products that right. we can promote and market abroad right uh, we also I think this is um, that's why we are today in Toronto and I'm very proud that Ukraine invest is one of the co-organizers of Ukraine house Toronto uh, and I think this is a great platform and for promotion yeah. uh, of Ukraine as the investment destination Ulyana, thank you so much for coming here, for what you've done, for organizing this beautiful conference and for coming to our studio. Thank you very much for inviting and good luck to all of us. Thank you. <laughs> that was Ulyana Kramak. She is the chairwoman of the Supervisory Board of Ukraine Invest Government Investment Promotion Agency. I'm Antonia Antosha with UATV Broadcasting from Toronto, Canada, where the conference on Ukrainian reforms is currently underway. Stay tuned for more.